Hi, my name is Mayor Cromwell and I am a Gaia mystic and an award-winning author. And Mother Gaia has asked me to do a teaching tonight on crop circles. It's going to be brief. It's not going to be too, too elaborate. And a little bit of a background about me. I have two books out that are communications, messages, wisdom from Mother Gaia that she's asked me to put out to the world. Uh, these books came out of more than um, 21 years of studies with Native American teachers and a really gifted Algonquin elder did a ceremony with me that Mother Earth had requested, Mother Gaia requested, and she, her energy and her consciousness was brought into my energy body during that ceremony, and that was in June 2012. And since that time, I can hear Mother speak to me most of the time as if a friend is speaking to me. It's, it, we're very closely connected, and a number of other elders have confirmed <clears throat> that I'm working very closely with her. One calls me the voice of Earth Mother, and another one who knows the prophecies, the Native American prophecies extremely well, told me that my work with Mother Gaia is in the prophecies. Not that my name is in the prophecies, but someone will have surrendered to her at the level that I have. So you can learn more about my books at my website, maricromwell.com. <clears throat> They're available online at all the standard places. Uh, I do events, workshops, I have a healing practice. But that's not the point of this, uh, this session tonight. This session is really about crop circles. And what happened was last night, a, a friend contacted me and sent me a brief write-up that was titled, Yatesbury Spiral, A Message from Mother Earth, May 2007. <clears throat> he wanted me to check out the message because he knows that I work really closely with Mother Gaia. And in essence, this message that he sent me, this uh, write-up, I should say, was from a group of people who had brainstormed and tried to figure out what was the communication within this crop circle in 2007 in Yatesbury in England. And they went to great lengths, it seems, to really try to figure it out. And they came up with um, an interesting theory using Morse code spaces and all that. And they interpreted the, uh, the crop circle to, to have this message from Earth Mother, Mother Gaia. Love, then, test, earth, ire, garden, shatter, or unite. I'll say that one more time. This is the message they thought this crop circle was offering from Earth Mother. Love, then, test, earth, ire, garden, shatter, or unite. So as soon as I started reading this last night, the uh, write-up that my friend sent me, another guy is, you know, she's chatting with me here, and I'm reading it, and I'm asking her, and she always talks to me on the left side here. My left side, your, your right side. Um, and so I asked her about this interpretation and her first response was, people need to understand humans two-legged need to understand that the crop circles are not her creation. She's not the one making these. They are being created by extraterrestrials. She also had this message to share in addition. The, the, the interpretation that those people came up with, um, and she really loves that they work so hard at it. She's very, um, uh, she's impressed, you know, when people work that hard to try to figure out when there's a message from her. Uh, she is impressed with that, and apparently these people worked really hard. But her response is that the crop circle, the creation of it is, is far more complicated and uh, and yet you could say that she has a message to the world. You can check out my books. There are a lot of, there's a lot of wisdom in them and other messages actually on a website called messagesfrommother.org with either more messages that are not in my book. Some of them are in my books actually. 
but the um she's definitely a big believer and proponent and would love every people everybody every two-legged to discover a lot more love so she likes that part of the message even though it's still not from her uh she's not filled with ire or anger or rage toward everyone on the planet who is perpetuating all these destructive ways that are really devastating her ecosystems she really loves everyone but she is uh hoping and wishing that we would wake up a lot faster than we are uh, wake up spiritually wake up to the oneness wake up to um even the christ consciousness she would love for everyone to embrace the christ consciousness and if you have a hard time with that term then think of buddha consciousness or krishna consciousness she she's a little irritated but she's not full of rage toward us she's really not i mean she's I talk to her all the time. She tells me this all the time. It's in my books. You can read the books. There's a lot in there. Um, yes, we live on a planet that is a really amazing, beautiful garden. Uh, it's not necessarily the Garden of Eden um, that is in the, the Bible. But uh, it's, it's what has brought forth evolution on this planet is such a complicated story that is not taught in science classes and it really manifests from deep deep love and co-creative forces between um spiritual beings councils of spiritual beings who are from off planet and and earth mother and creator creation you could say great mystery so then the next term shattered um the planet's not going to shatter. Earth Mother's not going to shatter. There, there's always shifting on her, and we may experience some really more intense shifting, uh, as the prophecies have said. But we have actually choices to make with how much of it's shifting, because we need to shift our thinking and heal our emotions and our shadow selves and our wounded inner child selves. And bring ourselves up to a much higher vibrational spiritual resonance within each one of us. And that will actually calm things down a lot on the planet. Uh, she would love for us to unite and uh, get over war. That's very much true. She would really love us to get over war. The way that we as modern day society um, inflict war on each other and uh, the types of armaments we use, she's really not happy with that. I mean, especially when the nuclear bombs were created and then dropped on her and tested in quiet, not so quiet places in her mind and in her experience, you can imagine. Um, so, so really, um, it's important to realize that there are many, many dimensions here on Earth and there are many, many countless, countless dimensions that extend beyond Earth. And there are um, highly sophisticated, highly intelligent beings who have been coming to Earth from the get-go, honestly. Uh, that's how, what I hear from her and what I understand. And so these crop circles are just another indication of highly, highly intelligent life forms that are not from this planet. Earth Mother did not create those, those crop circles, none of them. Beautiful designs, all that, she doesn't, that's not her work. And I'm being told by her not to tune in, try to tune in as to which alien group did it and where are they from and all that because she doesn't, that's not where she wants me to put my energy. Um, there are other gifted people on the planet who could probably do that, but they're not doing this teaching tonight. This is from Mother Gaia. So, so it is important to know that there are many gifted light workers who are working practically 24 seven to keep things in balance here on earth, our sacred planet. And to really bring forth the ascension that is happening right now. And it's a bit of a bumpy process, bringing forth these, um, this, this new world coming in, essentially. That's what the ascension is about. So the sense I get from Mother, what she's telling me, essentially, is that she's, she's tolerating these crop circles. Um, they're not really helping her. They're, they're kind of entertaining in a way. 
I imagine for the aliens doing it. And um, I'm not going to even try to interpret if there are messages here that they're sending us. That's not my work per se. My work is with Mother Gaia. Uh, but Mother Gaia would really, really love to have us two legged all of us wake up as to how much we have gone astray now indigenous peoples who are still living their traditional old you know ancient ancient lifestyles they haven't gone astray but she's she would love for us to wake up a lot faster and to change our behavior and be a lot more sustainable and show reverence and love for her and all the sacred life on her including us she uh that's what she'd really like to see happening. So if you want a message from her, that is a really powerful message right there. And again, I encourage you to check out my books and the, uh, the website messages from mother.org. There are a lot of messages there from her. So she still loves us, really, really loves us. We are so loved by her. It's beyond our understanding, really, unless we, when we really start to tune in and tap into it, then we really start to understand on the levels that we could, how much she loves us. She's calling us home. She wants us to live on her as if we're treating her like a beautiful home, which it, which it is. This sacred planet is incredibly beautiful, but we have forgotten how to be in balance and harmony on it. Um, so she's assuring me that in spite of all the hard work that those wonderful people have put into interpreting that crop circle design, that it's not her message, is not from her. But yes to the love and unite in the, in the message they came up with. She's definitely all over those ideas um, and ways of living and manifesting them in our lives and every single one of us. And, and yes to the garden. Uh, we live on a planet that is an amazing collection of wild gardens, wild biodiversity that's so stunning and so sophisticated. So I'm going to wrap up this message now from her through me. And if you'd like to, again, learn more about my work and the books and any of my events or my healing practice, you are welcome to go to maricromwell.com. Thank you. And to all of those who have been working so hard to interpret these crop circles and think that they're from mother, I really hope this doesn't burst your bubble too much, but they're not from her. But she really loves you. She loves you deeply, deeply, deeply for seeking to have a message from her. So you can check out my work <laughs> and, and learn from some messages from her. All right. Good night, everybody. Um, hugs and big love. This has been uh, wonderful to share this message from Mother. I haven't done one in a couple of uh, months. So blessings and hugs and big love. And especially from Mother, lots of love.